Hello, this is a tutorial about the new EdTech Guide. You access the EdTech Guide at the exact same URL, guides.baker.edu forward slash EdTech. In mid-September, Research Guides moved to version 2.0 and the EdTech Guide did as well. If you re remember the first version of any EdTech Guide or any Research Guide, there used to be tabs along the top. These tabs have now been moved over to the menu bar on the side and they are now clickable buttons. So let's take a look at the navigation of the new EdTech Research Guide. The top portion here on the splash page gives you a brief description of the EdTech Guide. The second box lists some helpful resources. And in this third box is the contact information for the team members of the Ed Technology area. Over here to the menu bar on the side, the same tabs that existed before are still here. So if we click on the Blackboard button, we get what was behind the Blackboard tab. And then you can just scroll down and there's a whole bunch of tutorials that are listed here to help you out. I'm going to skip tutorials for a moment. Flipped and blended classroom information. There's a bunch of ebooks that are listed here. There's some Google tips for some of the popular Google apps. There is a resources tab. Again, this is all exactly the same thing that was in these tabs before in version 1.0. And then the BYOD or bring your own device information. There's some articles. There's some videos here. Uh, a couple of things did not come over from the first version and I will be updating them and kind of getting this guide back to where it was before. So let's go back to the tutorials tab. And that's going to look very similar, almost exactly like what it did before. So you have what is the most recent tutorial that's been created is going to be kind of front and center here on the left two-thirds of the screen. You have the ability over here to the right to request a tutorial. So if there's something that you've heard about, you always wanted to know how it worked, you've talked to another faculty either at Baker College or at another institution, and they've given you an idea for something, if you will request that tutorial, we will take a look at it, see if it's some free software that will work with our devices on campus, and then we will go ahead and uh, teach ourselves and create a tutorial for you. One of the best ways of using this tool is if you understand either the name of the tool and name of the tech tool or you understand what kind of instructional strategy you're looking for, whether you're looking for digital storytelling, case study and critical thinking, you're looking for something to help you with some blended learning ideas or various types of assessment. Here's some formative assessment things. All you have to do is, this is an alphabetical list, you just have to look, find what you're looking for. So let's say it's formative assessment over here in this labels area. And these are all active. So if I am looking for formative assessment, I click on that. And here's a list of everything that we've put together on formative assessment. You could continue to scroll down. Another thing that you might be interested in as it's on this particular page I'll show you here is this area right underneath the labels is receive an email when we publish a new tutorial. If you actually put your Baker College email address here and hit submit, what will happen is as we create new tutorials, you will get an email about the tutorial. It also have a link right to it and you can click on it and go right to seeing what is new on the EdTech Guide or just kind of save that email off to the side, but at least you're alerted that there's something new here. So again, whether you're looking for, here's something with YouTube, Video Everywhere, Socrative, if you're looking for um, some ideas about lecture, so in other words, an instructional strategy rather than that particular tool. When you're looking at the boxes that are going to have the individual tutorials, you would. Uh, this is something you're looking for, obviously, you just click on this um, arrow and it will it will open for you and it will it will play. There's always going to be a name of what's going on in the tutorial, a brief descriptor, a little bit more information down here, some potential ways of using it, and then whenever possible, we kind of tie things to instructional strategies and levels of Bloom's taxonomy that uh, might help you if you're searching for something specific to engage your students. So that's pretty much it. Again, the contact information is going to be at the bottom of uh, the page there. So if I take us back to the home page, 
That's the contact information. If you need any help or have any questions using the guide, please let us know. Thank you.